one advantage of the upwind um, arch kite model on a, on a large diameter ring is that you can stack behind it and still maintain everything falling within the circle of the rail that you're you're flying above. So not only that, everything uh, as the wind changes, it sort of helps as a tail to sweep the front kite round. Uh, it's sort of like a, a drogue shoot for the the leading kite. Um, the tethering can also be set so that uh, it's it's nice and wide, so that the, these top kites are pretty stable as they're, they're very well staked out it's slightly to the sides. And also, um, you see with the top one, it's less to the side, so less far out to the side. But it's certainly front and back, it's, it's very well staked. Um, the middle one there being kind of the, the optimum. If along the foot you tension between that point, the front tether comes down, the second back tether, the third back tether, maybe even link them behind on that uh, riding rail, link them to the back side, the other side of the, the back of the top one, and uh, the middle one and the front one again. If you link all the way around, that means that they're all going to rotate as a one or uh, as one, and hopefully align themselves into wind still. Um, it may be that you would need, you would want different motor functions, of course, for uh, winding the middle section down, or uh, winding the whole lot together uh, to, to collapse the, the whole stack. It might be that this one main tether uh, load path would pull this line in first as it comes through the, the this kite it would catch that one pull that one down onto this one so you could uh, collectively launch and collectively gather them uh, letting the, the top one go first um, so you may only need winding here then again you would want um, to maintain this this line I guess you could have that sweep up and keep the back under sprung tension or, or just release from the back again to these points here, you could have a control doing that. Um, yeah, so I think with this, you wouldn't want it to be trying to sweep to generate around the ring. Uh, you you would want to suspend sort of shark gill um, uh, bands or sails to to either use Magnus effect uh, vertically rotating down underneath that or uh, sails sweeping backwards and forwards, generating across this gap. Um, this ring, this floating ring, as, as is drawn offshore here, uh, you'd want that to be fairly tough, I suppose, because um, it's going to have to cope with force to, to squash it. It's going to have a compression force. Mounted on the earth, of course, you, you stake into the ground, and that's fine. That's going to take all your, all your force for you. More thoughts, please.